He has placed his desire to avoid embarrassment and public atonement above his duties to taxpayers. Worse yet, he's asking us to do the same. For months, Bastrop Mayor Lyle Nelson has been under fire for refusing to hand over his personal phone and interfering with an investigation into the misuse of $70,000 from the city's tourism arm, Visit Bastrop. During that time, Nelson is alleged to have had an affair with its CEO, Susan Smith. Well, I made a mistake of a personal and private nature, and I've offered apologies to friend and foe alike. A board of ethics unanimously determined Nelson abused his power by interfering with the investigation, and many city Council members were furious about his dishonesty. When you see all the evidence that you that, that was presented to the Ethics Committee and that was presented to the City Council, it, it will change you. Nelson has been asked several times to resign, but Monday night he reaffirmed that won't happen. I am beat up but not beat down. God has led me to this spot for a reason and I cannot abandon it now. So instead, City Council voted 4-1 to one to strip him of several responsibilities. He can no longer work in a private office space. Business trips and expenses must be approved ahead of time. He will no longer prepare the council meeting agenda or read proclamations at those meetings. He's also been removed from all city boards and can no longer advocate for the city at the Texas legislature. The argument that these funds are only a tiny percentage of the Visit Bastrop budget is a slap in the face. Council member Cheryl Lee is the only one to vote against the measure, saying she believes it's not city council's place to circumvent the city charter or people who elected the mayor in the first place. The reprimand was not for theft. However, I feel many of the resolutions are written in a manner, I, I feel they're written in a manner that implies he's not to be trusted with city funds. The mayor also continues to deny any wrongdoing and says he turned over all official government devices. There can be no evidence because there was no misuse of funds on my part. Thank you for watching. Please hit the subscribe button and get the latest news by downloading the CBS Austin News app.